happy morning all of you and i am professor anand kumar das now today i have taken the entirely different part actually it will be completely for iams and non iams personal interview series 2022 now i will be giving video on projected expected okay most probable questions which iams and non iams are asking in interview after cat exam jet exam mat exam and mat exam there are several exams in this country you are supposed to crack those exams when for the final interview call you will receive and for that particular interview except technical part domain part of subject knowledge i will not be able to make video on that because i do not know the answers on that but definitely for the commerce and management students i will be taking care of all those videos because i am an mba graduate so definitely on commerce and management i can make video but related to computer and it b b tech b fat br for that you are supposed to visit my blog in the description box link is there go and visit my blog as of now there are no such technical domain question but there are different uh, there are different different types of articles are there gd topics are there with complete explanation you can enjoy that part also you can have great learning by reading those articles and in future definitely one by one i will make balance uh, between video making and that blog writing and then i will give you all several things through blog also even on domain knowledge subject knowledge everything through blog so let's start with this part and these are the questions which uh, i have categorized this uh, playlist into three parts okay first playlist uh, if you will go to my youtube channel you will get upsc is psc personality test interview series okay and then second will be fortune 500 multinational interview series and then this will be third this is only for your admission interview i am so non i am personal interview series 2022 most of the questions for last 10 years they have already asked and what they will be asking i have very nice collection of all those questions as i told you all in my all videos i am giving my classes program workshop for last 25 years to for all professional general courses students in schools colleges institutes universities almost i have already given my workshop classes program in 300 cities 20 states in india for 20 countries people and now i am running my school cbsc school so i am not visiting offline anywhere but definitely for last 6 month i am uploading video online video on youtube i was not doing that because i was mostly doing offline but due to covid i got the time now i am writing i have started writing a blog also for last 6 month but again active just one month back let's what i can do how i will make balance between these two and several things you will get knowledge information exposure equal to learning for particular part you are supposed to visit my blog and watch my video subscribe my both the part and you will be getting notification and enjoy and learn everything and crack all those exams for your personal professional growth 100% in first attempt you will crack anything it's my guarantee let's start the question is very simple you might have heard about this question also you know window dressing versus window shopping some of you may be confused also what is window dressing what is window shopping window shopping i think 90% students individual executives housewife executives managers might be knowing what is window shopping and those who are related with finance and accounting part they must be knowing window dressing part also if in any iams non iams personal interview question because they are very learned people very qualified well educated people they may ask you nowadays any question from you you can say it's everything anything of any domain knowledge subject knowledge technical knowledge personality development soft skill creative question ask step question so go through under all playlist whatever question i am giving under all the categories already watch all those videos i have already uploaded more than 150 videos watch all those videos for complete learning okay so what is window dressing window shopping what do you think window shopping first i will explain this is very simple you want to buy something but here the intention is not to buy anything simply you are visiting any shopping mall enjoying the displayed product and what what has been uh, displayed on the uh, that particular box and watching from outside sometimes inside also browsing the products also searching going to any store merchandise store big bazaar shopping mall big big shopping mall luxury shopping mall and enjoying the product looking at them whatever has been displayed there but intention is not to buy 
Why? The reason is very simple. Either first intention is not to buy, only searching, looking, seeing and satisfaction is there. Definitely one day I will buy that product. At that time you don't have that much of money which you can buy because it might possible some of the products are very costly. So in an interview, if anybody asks you this question, you can say that sir, window shopping is nothing. There is no intention to buy any product, but definitely we would like to enjoy the display product through searching, browsing, visiting personally, just like a tourist who goes to any places just for sightseeing, for photo clicking, for uh, enjoying the product enjoying the food, enjoying the restaurant, like that window shopping is for a particular person who really wants to enjoy the shopping mall, all products through browsing, visiting personally, storing and enjoying, definitely one day I will buy, but at that time intention is not to buy. This is all about window shopping. You are supposed to like, answer like this, okay? Now window dressing. Window dressing is very simple. In finance and accounts world, for any institutions and organizations or corporate whatever it is if you are hiding the real profit and showing the false profit or fake profit just to gain the importance of or just to take the advantage from the government in terms of direct taxes indirect taxes loan excise import export and report anything anything or any form of any facilities, former types of facilities with the help of government or through government by showing the or hiding the real profit and showing the fake and false profit. That is called window dressing. Very simple. Dressing means just covering the real part and showing the totally different part. So in literal term, we call it hiding the real profit and showing the false profit, fake profit so that if you are showing you are in loss, so definitely government has uh, government is giving several benefits, even subsidies also on certain products. If you are related with certain products, uh, there are more than 106 or 107 products available in this market under which under primary sector, secondary sector, tertiary sector, you are uh, buying, selling, manufacturing. So you can take the advantage in terms of several things. As I repeat, uh, in terms of benefit in terms of loan, in terms of import, in terms of export, excise, direct tax, indirect tax, GST, VAT, everything. So that is window dressing. This way you are supposed to answer this question. And in future there will be several questions. I have nice collection of uh, more than 500 questions for IMS and all IMS interviews. Please. Everything will come one by one, step by step. By that time, you watch all those videos. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get a notification whenever I will upload any video related to anything. Enjoy for complete knowledge, information and exposure that is equivalent to complete learning. Thank you so much. May God bless you. The happy beginning.